guys, it's Ronnie here again. And for this video, I'm going to share something that is a little bit more personal. It's probably more relatable to insurance agents and real estate agents. And today, I'm going to talk about why don't your friends actually support you and why they don't actually buy from you. Alright, watch on to find out more. Okay, so just a bit of background, if you don't know, I've already been in the health employee industry since 2016. And coming to the industry, I uh, was very privileged, right? So why privileged? Because I think when I just joined the insurance industry, I am very fortunate with friends and family who supported me in my business, right? But of course, it's not always like that. Sometimes you go into joining the health employee industry, you find that your friends actually don't support you and they don't buy from you. Okay, sometimes right, when you just join the industry, it's a little bit tough for them, you know? Because when you just join the industry, you might not be able to give enough value. But then I realized that friends supporting each other is actually not a very common scenario, right? So I will explain to you a little bit why. Because when you just join the industry as a new agent, sometimes it's really very hard for you to contribute value, right? So if you're only there for about three months, four months, chances that you might not have learned the ropes yet. And sometimes your friends are not able to trust you with their money, right? Especially in real estate, where it's a big ticket item, right? So for insurance, it's still not so bad. Because insurance, the quantum is generally lower. I don't know how to say this, but there is really no such thing as a bad insurance product. That might be a product that is not 100% tailored to your needs. But even the worst insurance products, right, will still be beneficial to you in one way or another, right? So insurance is so easier because uh, insurance is a lower ticket item and a lower quantum. So it's easier for people to support you in that way. Right, so one of the reasons why people actually don't support you at the start is because you might not have enough experience. And the second reason why is because of your previous reputation, right? Even for myself, right? If you know me outside of my work, I'm actually a very jokey person. Means I like to joke around, I like to fool around, and sometimes rep reputation is difficult to translate into the professional sense, right? So now I'm hardly a, a professional rest agent. But her friend you always see me as the Rodney who likes to great jokes, you know, the Rodney who likes to fool around, and it's really hard to remove the bias from knowing you as a friend. Right, so that's why sometimes it's really a bit tough for them to see you as a professional person. So the only way to do this right, is really to approach more people on the ground, to do more cold market, talk to more people that you don't know previously. And I really love talking to people who I don't know previously because they don't have their bias towards me, right? But my friends have been going for a long time, they know that, okay, I'm always a person that I like to pull around. It's uh, very hard for them to get past that. Firstly, you might not be able to contribute enough value and the second thing is that they might know you as a friend for too long already and their reputation sticks with you. So the top point I want to share with you is that it's the competitive mindset, right? Because as us Singaporeans, from young, we are always cultivated to be very competitive, right? We are always competing based on our grades, the schools that we go to, who does, well, who does better in all levels, and even when we are adults, right, we are competing subconsciously that yeah, who earns more money. So being stuck in the corporate 9 to 5, you have to understand that a lot of your friends, right, when they are in corporate, it's a really, really, very tough job. So when you actually ask them to buy from you, they might be thinking that I earn my money by working at a job I don't like, and yet I still have to buy from you, this will only make you richer, right? So the competitive mindset still stays within us when we are adults. So when you realize that that they have a scarcity mindset and they feel that by buying from you they're going to make you richer. Don't be angry at them, Marie. Don't blame them because don't come from a standpoint of judgment that you feel that ah yeah, this person is like that one, it's very meow, I call it, right? So understand that it's really very tough, but nevertheless, still be there for them, be there for your friends and still be able to create value for them even though they might not be buying from you, right? So the third point is that because we are brought up in a way to be always competing in terms of our careers, in terms of our results, the things that we own. So sometimes because of this mindset, they might not want to buy from you. And personally, sometimes I don't feel very upset, but how you can overcome this is really don't come from a standpoint of judgment. Come from a standpoint of understanding that, okay, why they think that way and why they feel that way. 
Right, who coming from the how have you done? I do feel your pain hurt really, and how to get over the the first thing is what I have for you is to continue prospecting. So similarly, don't have the specialty mindset of around clients. Right, believe that there are enough clients for you to help, and believe that there are always people that will trust you. Maybe your close friends might not buy from you, but believe that there are people out there who really need your help. So all you got to do is. Get your feet going, grab up with those people, and those people will be the ones that will support you. So don't be emotional about your friends not supporting you. Alright, so the second tip I have for you as a self-employed person is don't have the privileged mindset that they should buy from you. But some of a lot of people that I speak to, they always are complaining about friends who buy from other people, friends who actually transact properties through strangers. So don't have the privileged mindset that they should buy from you, right? So as long as you focus on creating value, as long as you focus on giving them being sincere in you helping them, whether or not they will buy from you is really pretty much out of your control. So another additional tip I share with you guys is to really change the way you act around them sometimes but don't be fake. A more professional person, right? Don't think that or oh, just because you're a friend, don't subdue your standards around your friends. When you are dealing with a friend in a professional setting, be professional to them as well. Don't think that all oh, these friends are uh, okay one, I just cut from my standards and you will still support me. When your friend feels that you are actually a very sincere person and you are very hardworking, despite them really giving you the opportunity, the word will spread. And when people like you as a person, your referrals will come in, right? So more of your friends in the same circle will eventually start to support you. Okay, so in conclusion, especially being in the health and wealth industry not for long, I understand that you might be very frustrated when your friends don't support you. So why do your friends probably don't support you? Firstly, because they feel that you might not be giving them enough value. Secondly, is that your reputation actually play against you. If you're somebody that's like me and like to fool around, like a joker, it might not translate that to a professional image. And last but not least, because friends might have a very competitive mindset, but have a very scarcity mindset that by buying from you, they are actually making you richer. But even so, don't come from a standpoint of judgment. Understand they are also working a couple 9 to 5. It's also very hard for them. Still be sincere towards them and help them wherever they need. So one thing that I really believe in is that sincerity goes a long way. So even if your friends don't buy from you, believe that clients are not scarce. There are still enough clients and people for you to help. Okay, so I've actually come to this kind of the video, a very short video, so just a little advice for you I have. So if you do have any questions, do feel free to DM me on Instagram. If not, do drop me a like and hit the subscribe button. This is Ronnie again and I'll definitely see you next time. Take care, bye bye.